Welcome back to the 6th Gear Garage. Today, I upgrade my Toyota's headlights from this to this. Let's start off with a look at the factory headlights. They're a sealed beam design, which was standard on trucks and most cars in 1985. When a light burned out or cracked, you threw away the whole light assembly and replaced it with another. That seems crazy today, because now we only have to replace just the bulb. Before I remove the old headlights, let's go for a drive down a dark country road to see how bright they are. So these are the low beams, oops, and these are the high beams. They spread the light out farther ahead, but there's not as much road lit up right in front of me. I used to think these were all right. Now, neither high or low beam looks bright compared to my TSX. I kind of spoiled because the TSX has excellent headlights, HID projectors. Here's one last look at the beam pattern on the garage door. High beam, low beam, high, low. And you can see what I described earlier about the highs spreading light farther ahead, but not actually being any brighter or putting out additional light. All right, let's see the new LED headlights from Truck Mall. Oh, they look even better in person. Very well packaged, I might add. I like this style because the design isn't overly complex or too busy. There are some with like 15 small LEDs inside, and to me, it looks too modern and busy to be on the front of an old truck. There's the back, and this plugs right into the factory harness. There's an extra pigtail as well, uh, in case you have to swap the low beam and the ground wire on some vehicles. I'll put a link to these headlights down in the description. To the garage! First, I need to take off the front grille. There are little clips that go all the way across that hold it on. I just need to push the top part of the clip that goes through the grille up and it releases. And the same thing along the bottom. A couple of screws too. On the bottom ones, I used a long flathead to push on the clips. With the grill out of the way, I now have full access to the headlight and the middle trim ring that holds it in place, which is held on by four tiny Phillips head screws. Oh yeah, I'm in Ohio. So this bottom one is completely rusted. I let it soak with some uh, penetrant lube. Now, if I can grab the outer edge of the screw head with some vice grips, I can hopefully break it loose by giving it a twist back and forth. Eh. There we go. That's a tight grip. All right, now it's turning. The rusty screw head is too stripped for the screwdriver. I have to turn it all the way out with the vice grips. Got it. Thanks, Ohio. I'm just gonna go in the engine bay and just unplug this headlight from behind. Now I can remove the metal trim ring. When the four screws are removed from the trim ring, the headlight can just fall right out. So watch they don't fall on the concrete. So this is a pretty old sealed beam headlight. I might call it vintage. It's all glass. And you can still buy these today, but I think they're all plastic now. I'll clean these up and hang on to them in case I ever want to make the truck period correct. You guys know I like old stuff. 
Might as well clean this up a little. I have the new LED light here and the type goes up on the top. So it reads right side up. These say they're DOT approved by the way. The new light plugs right into the factory harness. It actually fits pretty tight in there. I'm just gonna press it in here for now instead of screwing in that trim ring. Hmm, nothing. Well, there is an extra adapter harness uh, included for this situation. So this allows me to switch the low beam wire with the ground wire. All right, let's try this out. So it plugs right into the plug on the headlight. Then I run these spade connectors into the Toyota plug, but I'm swapping the low and the ground wire. So after swapping, I have the black one on top and the white on the right, and the red stays on the left. There we go. That's weird. They completely turn off when I switch to the high beam. So it's either low beams or nothing. So they all come on with the low beam, but the projector on the bottom is supposed to only come on with the high beam in addition to the other lights. But they all turn off on high beam. I mean, it's bright, but I can't drive around with high beams on all the time. Okay, so I contacted Truck Mall and told them the issue that I had with the lights and that the adapter harness didn't work properly. And it turns out that Toyotas have some kind of funky wiring. They said some Toyotas use a double negative headlight wiring. I never knew that, so kudos to their tech support. They sent me a link to a harness that will correct that. It's an H4 headlight harness with relays for Toyota pickups and Tacomas. It was 17 bucks. I'll put a link to this in the description as well. There are no instructions with it, but it's pretty simple. You got your double relays. There's a positive wire with an inline 30 amp fuse. And this goes to the battery. This goes to the passenger side headlight plug. It plugs right into the factory harness to know when you turn the lights on. Then it's wired to another plug for the new headlight. Then there's a long one that goes over to the driver's side for that headlight. And there are grounds on these as well. So I'm just gonna set this up quick to make sure it all works. If you weren't sure this was made in China, here you go. The circuit has already got the function of insurance. I'm good to go. All right, I just threw this in for now. Positive on the battery. Relays. Tuck the wire around the battery here. There's the plug that goes into the factory harness for the signal. And now I have the new plug and the ground wire. I just ran it right up here and put it on this fender bolt. The long one goes all the way over to the driver's side. And then I have that one grounded as well. And the factory harness plug is not used anymore. So I can just tape that up and tuck it away. Let's try this one more time. There we go, and it works. I have high beams and low beams. So I just watched that last clip and saw this light wasn't working. Uh, it was just a dirty ground, so I cleaned it, and now, success! And the high beams, these are bright. It updates the look of the truck, but in a good way. They look pretty good when they're off too. Not too busy, you know? And it really matches 
the rest of the black pieces as well. You know, there was a bit of trial and error on this project, but I'll leave all the bloopers in the video to show how I fixed them. I'll do a road test later tonight. All right, it's time for the first night test. Wow. Oh, wow. Sorry, neighbors. <laughs> uh, those high beams are no joke. I'm back on the same dark road I used for the before test, and the difference is amazing. These have to be like five times brighter than the old headlights. There's the high beams. Now I'm back on low beams. I should have done this years ago. Even the outsides of the road are lit up well. Here's the garage door test for a before after comparison. These have a nice cutoff line where the sealed beam headlights had some glare. There's the high beams. That additional projector makes a good difference in adding more light. I can see a lot more detail off to the sides. Well, that's it for today. Do me a favor and like this video if you found it helpful. Consider subscribing for more how-to videos and project vehicle updates here at the 6th Gear Garage. For today's bonus, I will mail a 6th Gear Garage sticker to the first viewer that can tell me what does that silver hatchback door leaning on my toolbox belong to? Make and model. Good luck.